Hey guys, Lego Empire bringing you guys another video today. Uh, as always, uh, we are doing a review. I'm doing a mock review this week. Uh, today I'm reviewing the Republic Troop Transport from Thrawn's Revenge. And before I get into the build itself, I will explain this set is very much a display. Um, it could be used for mocks, it could be used for bases, um, but it is not a play set. I do not recommend this set to be played with. Um, some of the bits are fragile, um, and I will be pointing those out as I'm going through it. Um, even at my own frustration, I will show you parts of the set that I love, parts that I hate, that kind of stuff. Sorry about my eye being kind of red. I had some, uh, I had some eye work done today. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the set, and then we'll go ahead and talk through the process of what's cool about it, what I don't like about it, and, you know, should you buy this set? Let's get into it. All right, guys, so at first glance, we have the Republic Troop Transport, some background for this. This set is actually technically Legends. Um, it was in the Clone Wars games, which technically are canon. Um, essentially, it is a large ground transport that would carry clone troopers early on in the war. Um, this is mainly for places where gunships couldn't get them to and uh, ATTEs were not able to go to. So snow planets, uh, some swampy worlds, but obviously like in swampy worlds, they did have ATTEs, but it was a vehicle they did use pure throughout the war. And typically it was escorted by the TX-130 Sabre tank or the fighter tank as Lego puts it. And this is a pretty good scale for this. Um, this set is minifig scale. So if I, you know, take one of my 501st troopers here and I lower the ramp here and put him inside, he fits comfortably inside. There's room in there for some supplies or weapons or more guys or Jedi, whatever you want to do. Um, for context, I did this. This set typically comes in red because um, it's called the Republic Troop Transport. However, I did keep... Um, you know, I, this is Lego Empire. I make Imperial sets. Those are my favorite sets that I have. And for, so for context, here is the, uh, ATST Walker that released in January of this year. For context, for size, it is very much minifig size. Um, I think it's pretty solid of a set all around. And it cost me about $300 to get this set and all the pieces over the course of the, over the course of the past couple of weeks. Now, some of the features of the set is when you're when it's not deployed and it's parked, you can fold these wings up and it won't go and it won't go anywhere. So, like I said, it can't go anywhere unless you do something to it. Um, so, some of the things you can do, for instance, you can put these up when you want to have it in like shelf mode. When you have it on like a desk or something, you can put these down. Um, the other areas that opens up here are, the, like I said, here the door. And on the front, this piece does come up a little bit. Um, not too much though, as you saw, this piece fell off. Um, and that piece attaches to the front bit right here. It attaches. Um, and it's supposed to sit kind of low underneath right there. Um, right there, and it just fell off because it bumped it. Um, this technically is supposed to come up. It, it's a hinge right here, but it's really sharp. So if you want to actually get to the set, what you're going to have to do is you're going to take this part off here. There is a... We know I don't knock off the guns. Like I said, the set is very much... I'm not going to do that. So, for instance, this part here. I can carefully get this with one hand. Do, 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 do. back on there we go and as you guys can see in here we have a full interior for people to sit um and as you can see up here uh best i can with the lighting that i have here full cockpit with controls there's the pieces down there that don't fold up um you can put your figures in there you can have a bunch of command modules people in here just as for display purposes and then to put this it's all just one big piece with some stud with some technic here 
Oop. Definitely a lot of pressure on that piece right there. Um, basically what you do is you, you can take the guns off to put it back on if you want to. Um, these things just slide off. But essentially you just put it on the back here, it slides into place, and it sits flush comfortably on the set. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. All right, so I've put the set back together here with all of its fixings. And so this is where I get to the point of the set where there are some issues. Being that it's a display set like Republic, well, I'm not going to compare it to Republic Bricks, but, you know, there's um, any of the, the, the sets you see that are for display purposes. Um, unlike my Mandalorian Starfire that I built recently, this set is very much a display set. And what I mean by that is it is not the most stable build while you're building it. Um, or in general, just a, um, you know, there are some, some glaring issues with the set. So for instance, there are parts of the set that, so would typically when people make mocks, they throw them into an application and they make them. And typically these applications are very good at detecting when there's issues, um, like the bricks aren't flush, there's collision issues, etc. And so one of the ones that we discovered when I was working with, uh, Thrawn's Revenge, he's the guy who makes this set. He noticed, and I noticed, that when you push this door like this, these two plates come back here, get pushed out a little bit. That's one of the small things. Um, there's a couple places in the set where it pinches. So, for instance, here up top, um, right here on this slit where these two pieces connect, and then here and here, the builds aren't strong here is really good but mainly this part is just floating on one piece um definitely could use some love or a redesign um i did talk to thrones revenge about this and he may revisit the model and give it some love and some of these strength bits i honestly think if you take this i had an idea with this if you take so the problem is, is that this technic piece is just going up just a tad much if he were to raise all of this by one plate um, maybe like four or five plates, I think it would honestly solve the problem. Or what he could do is he could take, when it goes like this, he could raise this entire piece by one and it might fix the problem, but I'm not sure. Um, I would have to actually go and test it myself for that to actually work. Um, and then also, like I said, this is on one, this is a hinge piece that's on top of this piece and it's all kind of fragile. Um, but I mean, obviously, if I don't mess with the, this, if I don't mess with it that much, or I were to move it quickly into a mock and then move it out, I think it'd be pretty great. Um, one of the other issues I had while I was building the sets was when you were when, when you go to build the back ear, end here. Um, this part is all solid. However, if I get down here, this wall is very interesting. So essentially, what happens is this is a flat wall that has one row of studs behind it in the, or one row of plates and then an outward facing set of uh, bricks that have the little connectors on them or have the studs on them. And so the problem with this is that all of this is slapped on the back and until you get these gray parts on, it really doesn't want to hold together because you have nowhere to grip it. Because as you're building this set, um, you know, you're trying to put your thumb or you're trying to hold something on this side as you're pushing things into it and the wall will fall in on itself. Um, but once you get that on there, it's honestly a solid build. Um, getting back into some of the other things about this set is this build is honestly awesome. Like as you're seeing it get put together, I was honestly shocked. Like as I'm watching the pieces disappear and the set becomes the form or begins the form, I, it's honestly incredible. Like the the amount of love and dedication that was put into building this set honestly is is breathtaking um the only thing that i could say that i would want out of this build that doesn't currently exist is i would love it if this set works with the ato with the with the drop ship and this is granted i could play with it to get it to work um honestly the set is not sturdy enough for it to be grabbed on the doors here because if it did sit on here it would sit like this for context there's the there's the the big part and here's the dropship it just wouldn't sit right you would need a longer dropship you would need a longer dropship specifically for this set and 
I don't know if it would work or if it would ever work. Um, it was never designed on that, and so it's not a feature that I genuinely want. Um, the one thing I will say is the set itself is unique. Um, if you are ever looking for any old Clone Wars, Star Wars, Black Galactic Battlegrounds, anything that you would consider off the beaten path, I recommend you guys check out Thrawn's Revenge on Rebrickable. Um, he makes some good stuff. Uh, he was recommended to me by Pixel Dan, and you know some of his builds caught my eye, and I finally pulled the trigger and went for this. The instructions are thirty dollars for this. It's kind of expensive, I know, and the pieces can range in price from two hundred dollars to three fifty. I paid around two seventy five. Um, honestly, it's a good build. I absolutely recommend it. I'm definitely gonna be using it for mocks. I'm honestly super tempted, like, I know this sounds ridiculous, but I would love to get a second one of these. Um, it'd be really cool to have a battle scene where you have one of them, you know, kind of, oh, so while I was sitting here talking to you guys, this whole piece fell off. Um, can I get back on that one second? Alright, so I got it back on there, it's nice and sturdy. Um, and yeah, I mean, honestly, I think if I had two of these where one of these was damaged and maybe these these fragile bits were falling off and there was a second one that had the ramp down and some troops were coming out and you you had some upside down stud pieces on this to keep you know troops from like showing them like they're running down like they're in motion i think that'd be really cool um i just wish this set wasn't so terribly expensive to build um but you know when you have you know nearly two thousand pieces you know it, it is a lot but it's honestly worth it it's worth every penny um you will not find another version of this ship anywhere else. Um, that's why I say, well, and now that la that back bit fell off because it hit my curtain. But yeah, out of always, I've been Lego Empire. Um, if you guys are interested in this set, please check out uh, Thrawn's Revenge on Rebrickable. I know that he would love to hear from you guys. Um, he makes some pretty cool stuff. He has some exciting new things coming out. I can't talk about it right now. However, it is pretty sick. Um, but yeah. As always, been Lego Vampire. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to follow and let me know down in the comments. Uh, you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.